Z-axis, big time upgrade. Slightly bigger stepper, 48 steps per revolution, 12 volts. Uh, running quarter inch, 20 turn per inch threaded rod. There's a little union nut there. Bracket heading across to the anchoring board. Bunch of uh, helicopter bearings on angle brackets. Uh, just for testing, I have a screw just driven in there to make sure I can actually hoist the new spin saw that I've bought. And uh, this. Uh, this should be quite a big improvement over uh, over the little baby uh, Dremel tool and the little tiny printer stepper. Uh, I'm not sure if you can focus this off, but uh, 12 volts, uh, 36 ohm resistance, four steps, seven and a half degrees per step, so 48 steps per revolution. So 48 steps times 20 turns per inch. I got 960 steps per inch, almost a thousandth of an inch um, vertical uh, precision or accuracy. I'm going to have to figure out which is the difference. But anyways, so we're moving right now. It's pretty slow. It runs a tenth of an inch per second uh, travel speed, which works out to I guess six inches a minute. Uh, pretty slow, but that's okay. Uh, the final piece, which was the thing that solved it, was I had to put a bearing here to where I'm holding the weight. Otherwise it was just binding too much for this little motor. Um, just using my regular power driver that I have, I'm using a couple of picks to uh, convert the step and direction into the pulsed steps. I'm doing full stepping. And there's my little breakout board, a computer, and EMC running the system, and an extra power supply giving me the 12 volts to run this. Enjoy!